की बेसिक ज्योमेट्रिकल आइडियाज नाउ थर्ड क्वेश्चन सी आर यूज द फिगर टू नेम द फिगर इज गिवन लाइक दिस सो यू हैव टू आंसर द फॉलोइंग क्वेश्चंस द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज लाइन कंटेनिंग पॉइंट ई द लाइन कंटेनिंग पॉइंट ए एंड सेकंड वन लाइन पासिंग थ्रू ए अ लाइन पासिंग थ्रू ए द पॉइंट ए क्लियर सो थर्ड वन लाइन ऑन व्हिच ओर लाइज लाइन ऑन व्हिच ओर लाइज सो वी कैन सी ओ द पॉइंट ओ इन दिस लाइन दैट मींस ओ सी लाइन क्लियर सो यू आर राइट इन व्हिच लाइन द ओ इज लाइज क्लियर सो नाउ फोर्थ क्वेश्चन टू पैर्स ऑफ इंटरसेक्टिंग लाइंस हाउ मेनी पैर्स ऑफ इंटर intersecting lines are there and there are already said two paths of intersecting lines clear the first question line containing point e now you have to observe the figure observe the figure and answer the following clear answer the following questions the first question line containing point e that is on which line the point e contains see the point e e is here so now we can see on which line uh, the line is a uh, a on line a e e contains clear so therefore the answer is a uh, e point e point e lies on a uh, lies on line a e clear a e is a straight line right that is what a uh, a e line so that we can see the point e clear so now second one this is the second answer First one answer. The point E lies on line AE, and second one line passing through Y. Line passing through Y. Point A. The point is here. A is here. So which line? The point is passing. That means this line. It is also AE line, correct? So on the on line AE, we can see this point. Point A. So now the second one answer is a line passing through. ye it is a ye e line clear the line is a ye e the third question line on which o lies line on which o lies the point in the figure we can see the point is here so this point is o so this, this lies on a o c line clear o c o e is lying on o c lines okay or you can say that c o lines so line on which o lies that is a O C O C line clear. Let us know. See, we can see the point O in this line. Point E on this line that is E, and E is passing through a line that is a E E clear. So you have to observe the figure, see the figure, and answer the following questions clear. So now last question: two pairs of two pairs of intersecting lines. Intersecting lines means one line is. We cross the another line, so it will uh, intersect at one point. Here, yeah? so that is what intersecting lines. So here we can see the two lines are uh, intersecting. That means one line is a. Uh, you can consider A D or you can say A D. Okay, here the point is D. So you can say that A D crosses another line that is a uh, O C. So these two lines are intersecting lines. Clear? Which the uh, which lines are intersecting lines? One is AD. AD is a line, and lines you can say that line segment also. Okay? So AD and OC, OC and AD are the intersecting lines. So now the question is write a pair of intersecting lines. So in the figure we can see that we can observe that there are two uh, pairs of uh, intersecting lines. One is AD. AD is intersecting. OC is OC and AD are intersecting lines. Clear? AC, sorry, AD and OC are intersecting lines. Another pair of that means another intersecting lines are. Is there any point here? No. So we can say that this point, these two points will intersect. See, these two lines will intersect at one point. Correct? That lines are DE and FE. DE and FE are Lines are intersecting at one point. The point is your E. But what we want to write? We want to write intersecting lines. The intersecting lines are D E and another one uh, F E. So F E and D E are the intersecting lines. 
here. So, pair of intersecting lines in this figure, one is AD and a OC. So, these two lines are intersecting. And similarly, here we can see another lines DE and FE are intersecting lines. Clear? So, these two points intersecting at point E. So, now we will see fourth question. How many lines, how many lines can pass through first one, one given point? How many lines can pass through one given point? And second question, two given points. Clear? So, the question, uh, see. Line. Clear? The answer is a 
The first one answer is what? The answer to the first question. The second question is x y. X y is a line x y. A line x y and line p q intersect at point y. Clear? So these two lines will intersecting. They, these two lines are intersecting at point y. Clear? So how we can represent? That means if you consider one line, that is what? Which line? No? That is x y. So this is x. This is y. So this is line. So another line is passing through. This will cross the another line. That means so another line is p q. This is p and this point is a q. So x y and p q lines x y and p q will intersect at one point. So these two lines will be intersecting at one point. That point is a y. Clear? Yeah. So x y and p q intersect at y. So this point is a y. Isn't it? So p q and x y are intersecting at y. So now the next question, third one, line L. So this is what line L contains E and D of what not D. See, one line that is L contains a point E and D. The line contains point E and D, but not D. We not cannot uh, consider point D on line uh, L. Clear? So now how we can represent? So this is the third one answer. See. A line L, so if you can draw cross or vertical line, also you can consider a horizontal line. So I draw one horizontal line. This is what line L. So you already name this as a L. So already given in the question, a line L, line L contain contains point E and Y. So here we can consider E. If I consider E and Y, you can consider. Okay. So this is what E and Y are. Uh, On the line L and but not D, but not D. So we cannot uh, consider a point on L D. So now D you can consider here. You can write here. Okay, D is not on the line L. Only uh, E and Y are on the line. Okay. So now the question is a line O P and O Q meet at point A. Go clear. O P and O Q. These two lines will meet at point A. Go. So how we can draw? You consider one line P Q. See P Q. No. O O P and another O Q. Isn't it? So which is a common point here? O is common, right? Because the lines are like this. O P and O Q. O P and O Q will meet at one point. Point up, that is a O. Clear? So these two are lines. So O P and O Q. Clear? So if you want, you can explain this because they said lines. So this is what answer to this question. So this is the rough figure, rough draw rough figure, and labels table in each of the following cases. So this is first one answer. Point P on line A B. P on line A B. Here, figure is not given. How to draw the figure and represent the points on a line? Clear? Thank you. The next concept that is the open curve and closed curve. Open figure and closed figure. See what is the meaning of open curve? Open curve means the shape which is not closed. The shape which is not closed by line segments. A shape. Which is not closed by line segment or a curve. Clear? Or a curve is called an open curve. So that means, for example, here I wrote some uh, uh, figures. See, this is what open curve, open figure. See, this is it. This is closed. The shape is it closed? No, this is open. Clear? So this is open curve. So this is also example to open curve. See, see the figure. This is example to open curve, and this is also example to open curve. It's not closed, right? So I will show you what is open curve and uh, closed curve. You see the shape which is closed by line segment or curve. It may be you can use line segment. This is what line segment. One, two, three. So these three are the line segment sides. Clear? So this is one line segment, another line segment, third line segment. So if uh, these three line segments are closed, see this is called closed figure. Here, this is an example to 
closed figure, closed curve. Closed curve means see, this is not here. We did not use any line segment, is it? Is there any line segment here? No, there is no line segment. Just study for curve. So this is the example of the closed curve, circle, right? This is closed curve and this is the closed figure. This is the closed figure because here the line segments are closed. See, one, two, three, four line segments. Here also. Three line segment joint and we get a closed figure. But open figure, see here we use line segment, but this figure is not closed. Clear? So here this is curve. This is what a curve. This is not closed. Open curve and closed. Clear? Now the shape which is not closed by line segment or curve is called a open curve. The shape which is closed by line segment or a curve that is called a open. So closed. Clear? So examples I written some examples of closed figure and this is an open figure. Now the question is classify the following curves. Some figures are given. You have to classify as a open or a closed curve. So get the answer now. See the first figure. Uh, how you get? It looks like Z, right? So this is what Z is. It this is closed or open curve? This is the open curve. Is it this is closed? No, so this is a open curve. So now second one. See here, the curve is given like this. There is no open in this curve. So everything is closed, right? So this is what closed, closed curve. Next curve. See third one is open curve, right? This is open curve. And D, this is a closed figure, and this is also closed. This is also closed. One, two, three are closed figure, and the one, two, this. Okay. The second question. Draw. Draw any polygon. Draw any polygon and shape its interior. So you have to you have to draw a polygon. What is polygon? Polygon means that is a closed figure. Clear? Closed by line segment. The figure is closed by line segment. It is what a polygon. So we can draw a triangle. Triangle is a polygon. Okay. Or uh, you can draw rectangle, square, uh, pentagon, hexagon, septagon. That is all what? That is a uh, polygons. Okay. So here they ask to draw one polygon. Draw any polygon and shade its uh, interior. So you have to draw one polygon. So if I draw a triangle, triangle is a polygon. How many line segments are there here? One, two, three. So three line segments. This is closed figure, right? So this is the example. The polygon. Then they ask for shape. Shape interior. This is inside the triangle, right? So inside the triangle. The part inside the triangle is called the interior. Okay? This is interior part. Interior inside. Shade it. And polygon. If you want, you can draw one more polygon. That is the pentagon. Okay? This is what? One, two, three, four. Five. So this is example to pentagon. Okay. So you have to shape this. This is triangle. Next step you want you can draw for quadrilateral. Quadrilateral means a polygon having a polygon has a only four sides. Okay. This is a quadrilateral. So example to polygon. Clear. So this is a closed figure closed by line segment. Clear. So this is a or quadrilateral it is also a polygon so this is triangle quadrilateral pentagon if you want you can draw hexagon hexagon is the figure having six sides 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 so this is what hexagon okay hexagon six sides seven sides octagon octagon pentagon decagon like this you can draw the shapes Okay, these are all example to polygon. Polygon means that is closed figure, closed line figure. So if suppose if you, if you consider two line segment, can you draw the uh, polygon? If suppose if you consider two line segments, uh, can can you draw the uh, polygon? Can you get the polygon? No, we cannot get any polygon with two line segments. So you should get more than. Two line segment. If more than two line segment, we can draw polygon. So I draw triangle. This is example to polygon. And just your shape of its interior part. So just shape its interior inside the 
triangle. Clear? Understood? Okay, next up, next question. That is, illustrate if, uh, if possible each of the following with rough diagram. Illustrate if possible each of the following with rough diagram. The first question, a closed curve, a closed curve that is not a polygon. See, closed figure, what it is not a polygon. So, for example, if I draw, if I draw a polygon like this, this is closed figure, this is example to polygon. Here they are saying a closed figure, a closed curve that is not a polygon. So, this is a, cannot be drawn because this is a polygon, closed figure, but it is a polygon. So, the question is a, it should not be a polygon. The figure should be closed, closed curve, but it should not be a polygon. So, if I draw triangle, or quadrilateral, pentagon, hexagon, and all, you can say that there is a polygon, example to polygon. There is also a closed figure. But the question is the closed figure that is not a polygon. It is not a polygon. So we can draw a circle, right? So this is what closed curve, but it is not a polygon. Polygon star line segments, more than two, more than two line segments. That is polygon. But here, the if I draw a circle or round like this, is it this is a polygon? No, this is not a polygon. This is close to figure, but it's not a polygon. Because here I draw a curve. Clear? I did not use any line segment. So now if I consider the triangle shape, but one curve we can draw like this. This is closed figure. Is it this is a polygon? No, this is not a polygon. So only two line segment. Then we have done I drawn arc, right? So this is not a polygon. This is closed figure, but it's not a polygon. Clear? So if you want, you can draw like this also. You can use the line segment. Last you should not use any. Here the part, last part, you can draw like this. So it, it looks like a closed figure, but it's not a polygon. Here, so this is more closed figure and it's not a polygon. So we can give many examples to this. Yeah. So now second question is a an open curve made up of entirely of line segment. So curve should be open, open figure made up of entirely of line segments. So now how we can draw open curve made up of entirely with the uh, closed so line segment. So for example. If I consider a line segment like this, this is what closed curve. Here I use the line segments and we we'll get one closed figure. This is not a, a open curve. This is the closed curve. So question is an open curve made up of entirely of line segments. So if I draw line segments, another line segment I draw like this. This is example to open curve made up of entirely of line segments. Clear? So here I use line segment, line segment. Clear? This is open curve. If you want, you can draw like this also. This is also example to open curve and uh, with line segment. It is also uh, open open figure, open curve with line segments. Clear? So this is example to second question. Answer to second question. And third one, polygon with two sides cannot be drawn. Is it? Polygon with the Two sides cannot be drawn. So the question I think uh, uh, question is the polygon with the two sides. Polygon with the two sides. Polygon with two sides is it possible? Can you can, can you get a polygon with two sides? Uh, for example, one side uh, and another side like this. Can you get the polygon? No. So we can say that polygon with two sides uh, cannot be drawn. Clear? So uh, polygon with the Three sides, so we get a triangle shape, right? This is what one, two, three line segment we used, and we we'll get closed figure. That means that is a polygon. So with the two sides, or huh? with the two sides, with the two two line segments, with the two line segments, we cannot get any polygon. Clear? So this is the answer to this question. So if you want, you can write like this. Polygon with the polygon with two sides cannot be 
wrong, okay? Cannot be wrong because if you consider two line segment, we cannot get any polygon. If it is three line segment, then we can get a polygon. That is a triangle. Here, triangle is a polygon. Next question is sixth one. Name the angles in the given figure. Go to name the angles in the given figure. So if you see this figure, you can understand so this is a A is a vertex. One is a A, B, C, D. A vertex of this is a quadrilateral. This is quadrilateral. This is called what? Quadrilateral. Why it is called quadrilateral? Because it has a four sides. See one, two, three. Four, four sides are joined, right? So you get one shape that is a polygon. It is which polygon? A quadrilateral. This is a polygon. A, B, C, D is a quadrilateral. Okay? This is closed figure. It is a polygon. Okay? So now what you have to write? Name the angles. How many angles are there in this figure? So you write the angles in this figure. So now. See, this is one angle. Angle A is called angle A. Angle B, angle C, and angle D. So there are four angles. You can see in this figure. Clear? How many angles are? Four angles. Angle A, angle B, angle C, and angle D. Okay? So what is angle? Now how we get angle? Two rays. Two rays meeting at one point. Right? We will get a common point. So two rays. One is a. If you name this is O and this is A and this is B. So in this we can say O A and O B are two rays. O A and O B are two rays. We meet it at a common point. This is a common point. So one ray and the ray will meet at one point. Clear? So this is what the makes an angle. So this is angle. Clear? Acute angle, obtuse angle, right angle, clear, straight angle. These are the angles. So now what we have to do? We have to write the angles in this figure. Name the angles in the given figure. So the angles are how many angles are there in this figure? There are four angles. Which angle? That is one is angle A, angle B, angle C, angle D. So while writing, you should write like this: angle. If you are representing angle A, you should write D A B. So A will come in middle. Clear? D A B. That means angle A. Okay? Angle D A B. Angle D A B. That means angle A. Now another angle. Second angle. Angle B. Now we can write angle B. It comes in middle. So now we can write A B C. And another angle is a. A B C and one more angle that is C angle C so we can write angle C B C D angle B C D one more angle that is C D D or you can say that A B C okay angle D that is A B C or C D A C D A or A B C can I come C D or A B C here So these are four angles in this given figure. So how many angles are there in this figure? There are four angles. Clear? Yeah? Thank you.